today with a very special edition of Wolfie's Wheels. We have with us the uh, car balloting and detailing legend that is Carl Allen of KAVD. Um, he's going to do some special work today on the latest addition to the fleet, which of course is the electric Zoe. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to do, so let's ask the chap. So Carl, um, this is the Zoe. Yep. Um, You've looked after it since day one, which is in fact only been one uh, wash. W what will you actually be doing to it today? Um, so when I came last time, I spent a bit of time looking around it, did uh, quite a bit of decontamination on the car just to before applying some, not permanent protection, but intermittent protection ready for right. ready for doing this. Uh, so today it's going to go through a, again full safe wash like we do with BOF. Yep. Um, any areas that are going to need more decontamination will receive that right. uh, and then it will be fully dried uh, and then ready for just a light single stage machine polish just to remove any paint defects from dealership Right. and then we'll be going on to apply um, Crystal Clean Details Sistel which is a semi-permanent ceramic coating basically. Right. Uh, we can apply that outside if it decides to rain, like it did with Boff. When mm -hmm. we finished it, it's not a problem. It cures instantly, um, and that. And then going forward, we just do maintenance like we have with Boff and, and keep it looking smart. Right. Excellent. So, so what products will you actually be using on it? Um, for example, for the decontamination. Yep. So we use an iron fallout removal. Right. Um, that takes any iron particles out of the paint bleeds them out, uh, tar removal, which... Is it, sorry, is that the stuff that looks sort of red? Yeah. You can see yeah. sometimes, so you yeah, won't, yeah. You won't see it on this, because it's like red-purple. Oh, so right, you'll, you'll, that'll blend in. You, you won't see it on this at all. Um, then we've got tar removal stage as well, which is done before I fall out. Um, again, there won't be much tar on this. I can't. I had a good look around it last time, uh, and they want a speck of tar on it, which right. is a good start. Yeah. Um, and then it's on to... A final rinse, final foam and rinse, and then it's ready for machine polishing. Right. Do you want to talk about the, the pros and cons of letting a dealer do this work against a, a professional balloter? Yeah, so dealerships get best part of 20 minutes um, to apply their Gardex. 20 minutes? Yeah, but it's usually about 20 minutes to half an hour. In fact, I used to know a dealership balloter um, really well. He said we get about 20 minutes to half an hour to apply these products, which is it takes me half an hour to clean a set of wheels. It's just, it's, it's not doable. Uh, the Gardex protection is, doesn't work. It's, it's no good. They don't apply it properly. Uh, whereas this, it gets the full works before we, it, you, we're basically applying it to a clean surface. Sure. Whereas a dealership will wash it, they'll apply it uh, within your first wash. I can guarantee it's, it's diminished, it's gone. Yeah, because you, you will also polish the car with your, um, is it what sort of polisher is it? A DA is it? Or? It's a it's a dual action, yes, a yep. force 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 rotation dual action polisher. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we get into all the the corners with a three inch, and it's it's a detailed a detailed polish to remove any dealership defects. This actually doesn't look too bad. Right. Uh, so, That's credit yeah. to Kind Home Reno, so yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll give them a shout. They've done quite well, uh, considering I have seen cars come out of Aston Martin and Porsche uh, when you're spending best part of hundred and fifty thousand pound on a car. And it looks like it's been washed with a bristle brush. <laughs> it's um, yeah, Renault yeah. have done. They've done very well. Yeah, we can walk around the car and, and see any yeah, yeah. any uh, obvious areas. So obviously, there's no real deep scratches. I picked up on one last time, which was it was around the door handle somewhere. Right. It was around the car's dirty at the moment, so I'm not going to touch it. But it was yeah. just around there. Right. Okay. Um, Again, you can see the marks there. It's just slight wash marring. That's not an issue. That'll lift easy. Yep. Um, other than that, I think that was about all I picked up on. It just needs yeah. a good wash now uh, and just get it ready, ready for polishing. Okay, so this is the uh, the Zoe, which is now covered in in snow foam. So, Carl, um, what what have you done so far? So it's had the wheels cleaned, arches cleaned, and tyres cleaned. Uh, okay. It's had a, a 10 minute rinse down just to get rid of any loose dirt and debris. Uh, a part that I find is more important than the snow foam stage itself. Uh, this 
it just gives it that extra bite to remove any further traffic film or any other debris that could be in power gaps etc yeah uh, so this will be rinsed off in a second it's quite warm today uh, and then we can go on to the two bucket wash um, rinsing from bottom up not top down yeah uh, reason being I know where I've been with a pressure washer I want to cut through the foam to hit the paint not rinse all the foam off which is a pointless exercise for me um, so yeah bottom up works best well I think it works best anyway you know, a lot of people may argue um, but we're not here to do that no we're here to clean cars um, <laughs> I'm sure we'll get stuff in the comments below <laughs> probably will uh, but yeah if you haven't I'll be honest if you've not tried rinsing bottom up do it yeah and you will notice a difference with it being quite warm I'm gonna get this rinsed down now yeah or rinsed up um, and we can move on to the two bucket wash right so the two bucket wash just, just I need to fill these back up um, but the two bucket wash so this is the wheel bucket I've emptied it out that needs now rinsing clean uh, we've got buckets here so in these we've got two mitts yep. for upper and lower we've got grit guards in yep uh, which basically st stop you touching the bottom of the bucket because that's where all the dirt falls to yep uh, one with shampoo in one with clean water yep um uh, that's it it's it's really simple but it's really effective yes so um, so so basically you you have um your cleaning solution yep. uh, shampoo in one yep pure clean water in the other that's correct you do a couple of passes on the car yep with that rinsing in in the other bucket in that bucket yep. and then back into shampoo bring it out back in there and, and carry on yep. and and then very cleverly and this is a real trick is actually it's a three bucket method because yep. in the third yep. bucket anything that's wheel mucky cleaner. at the bottom like the wheels yep. um you you can do there see various brushes yeah i always do the wheels absolutely last because of that that yep. reason but of course the three bucket method would be yeah, yeah. E e even better so anyway so we'll rinse this off next and then uh, go from there Already, I don't know if it's going to come out on the film, but I, already I can see how much cleaner the car is from just having a 10 minute wash, a snow foam application, and, and now another rinse off in just straightforward water. So, so far, the job has taken maybe half an hour, and as yet, uh, the car hasn't actually physically been touched other than the wheels, but there's been no uh, interaction with the paintwork at all all been down to the, the water and liquids. So we're going on the two bucket method now so here we go with the, the suds and what, what shampoo is it you're using on this one Carl? This is Crystal Clean Details Chocky Wash. Chocky Wash? Yeah. Good enough to drink. It actually smells quite nice. Does it? Um, I might have a, a snort of the bucket. In <laughs> the smell don't come across as much as you think. Right. But saying that I don't, I'm not a big fan of like really really heavy sudsy shampoos yeah as long as it's i just got slick, a whiff of it then actually it's nice yeah as long as it's slick and glides across the paint nicely yes that's what you want so i suppose when it's um when you can feel it gripping the paintwork that's when it's potentially damaging it would that be fair to say yeah definitely so there's no pressure in this at all yeah yeah um obviously i'll save that list last little bit for the other mitt yep um Again, into your wash solution, washing top down. Yep. Being mindful not to rub across the paint. Or anything. But you shouldn't get to the point of having to be rubbing up against the paint anyways. If, if, if a vehicle's too tall for you, then it's, uh, it's time for a ladder, isn't it? Right, yeah, some steps, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some small steps work well. Or... Yeah. And I presume that thing, things like that you would keep in the van anyway, because yeah, you, I know you do um, yeah. four-wheel um, drives and things. Yeah, similar to, you know, you shouldn't be wearing watches and yeah. things like that when you're washing cars. I mean, I've got a wedding ring on, but I've got gloves on. I'm going to say you've got, you've got gloves on anyway. I always wear gloves. Yeah, so it's not a Covid thing, it's, it's always yeah. done it. Yeah, it's just so don't scratch your car. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, you've just got to be mindful of things like that when washing cars. That's another thing to be mindful of when you're washing a car. 
can easily touch the tyre there. Oh, right, yes. So, just be careful of that. Yeah, you yeah, don't want yeah. to get in. Even though the tyres have been cleaned, you still don't want to be touching anything apart from the paint. Mm. So after the two bucket method wash, the car gets another um, hose down with the pressure washer. So it was pressure washed once, then it was snow foamed, then the snow foam was pressure washed off, then it was done cleaned by the two bucket method, and then it's hosed off again. Now we've had a wash, it's been decontaminated. Um, like I said, there's quite a lot of decontamination on it last time when it was new. Um, it's ready for drying uh, and then we can have a look, we've already had a look around the paint, I know what to do, I know what we're dealing with, the measurements have already been taken. Um, that's the depth of the paint. That's the depth of the paint, yeah, so yeah. there's quite a bit to work with, not not tons, yeah. but we're on about between 110 and 130 microns around the whole car. Right. Um, and what, what would be, a, a, a is that a fairly common sort of it's number a fairly for a common new number, car? Yeah yeah, 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 so it's not got a thin or thick paint, it's just got no, paint. It's just it's just perfect really. yeah. so i've come out to see how things are going and it appears uh john carl has had a mighty erection in my front garden um so this is the gazebo i take it which uh yeah means that you can work in the shade to stop for uh, i'm in the shade today and in the dry yep um other, otherwise don't want panels to be too hot when polishing uh, just done a test section right very happy Okay, so have you used your DA on it yet? Yep. Look at the fleck in that. The what? The fleck. The fleck, F L E F L E C K. <laughs> yes. That's nice. a test section that I've just done with. Right. I've got my uh, Vertil random orbital polisher there, uh, dual action. Yep. Uh, with a reasonably medium pad. Um, not too harsh, not too soft. Yeah. Already done a bit of research on these cars. Um, paint seems to be responding well. Uh, like I say, it's not bad, and it's not bad anyway to start with. But there's always room for improvement. Sure. So I'm looking forward to seeing the the, the finished thing because I've I've seen caught it in the sun before now, and I, I love the colour of it. I need to know what the colour it's called. I can't remember what it's... It's, it's called Aconite. Aconite purple. Or is it... Purple? Just Aconite. Just Aconite. Just Aconite, yeah, yeah. And on the inside of yep. the car, what what were you... Is there some sort of protection you can put on that? Because you, yeah. you said you're going to put some protection on the outside yep. after you've done this polishing, yep. which is called... Uh, KK, well, Crystal Clean Detail Sistal is what I'll be using on right. the outside. Okay. Um, and the inside is G-Technique uh, smart fabric we'll use on that. Right, yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's not leather, it's, 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 it's fabric inside. It comes yeah. from an animal called a foe. So work has been in progress and you uh, can just see how this colour is absolutely uh, magnificent in the sunlight. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the shine on that is uh, absolutely amazing. I can see myself in this mirror finish. Hello. I mean, that's actually, uh, you know, just in the, in the door. Uh, incredible work uh, there, Carl. So, has it been uh, as easy as you thought it would be, or more difficult? Or? Um, it's butter soft, stupid soft paint. Is it? Yeah, so the correct technique, um, definitely the correct choice of microfiber needed. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can use, in fact, my favourite buffing cloths, believe it or not, are the Kirkland Costco microfibers, the right. yellow ones that you can get hold of. Um, tried it on one, tried it on a test patch on this, and it mars the paint, unfortunately. So oh, right. it's a step up to a plush buffing towel, um, which has worked nicely. As you can see, this is pretty much perfect now. This side. Um, yeah. Very impressed. Yeah. It's, it's uh, easier than what I thought it was going to be. Ah, uh -huh. excellent. Uh, but obviously, it's down to like it's always down to the pad and polish combination that you want to choose as well. Right. Uh, I usually carry about four or five polishes and about four or five different types of polishing pad in the van. Yes. Uh, and my go-to is usually either a red or orange, medium to hard pad for single stage work. 
and Sonax 0406, uh, which has worked a treat. You said, Carl, about the paint was uh, pretty soft. Yeah. Is, is that going to does that mean you're going to put a different coating on, or will it still use the same one as you were planning? No, it'll still use the same coating. Yeah, uh, it's just being extra cautious when applying it. Right. Um, it shouldn't make any any difference to how the, how the finish is going to be or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I've applied it to many cars that are butter soft anyway. The Tesla being one of them. Right. Um, that was a lot softer than this. Right. Um, yeah. And, and of course. If you've got soft paint and don't have a coating on it, yep. it is going to be prone to marks and chips and, and that. So yeah, 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 definitely. You, yeah. You, the softer the paint, the, the more important it is to have some sort of I'd ceramic or semi-ceramic yeah. put on it. Definitely have a coating put on soft paint. I'd, put, I'd have coating put on any car, really. Well, so um, would I. You know, waxes are all, are, all, are all great and good fun, and I love applying a wax as much as any other detailer does or any other valeter does. It's, it's good fun and it's, it's nice to do, but... Um, yeah, coatings for new cars, for me, is, is, is a no-brainer. Perfect. No-brainer. Right. This is the uh, DA mop in action. Would you estimate how many microns you take off with this? Next to nothing. Next to nothing, Next yeah. Next to nothing, yeah. Can you see what I mean about it stalling? If it was too hard. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 then change microfibers and right. change application yeah. method. Uh, well, method application pad. Yeah. So this is going to need priming now. So that's it. Right. That's all you use. Yeah. It's a little Just bit. A little like bit. A little bit in the middle. Yeah. Always put cap back on. Yeah. Just knock it over. Don't want to be wasting it. No. No, I don't suppose it's cheap stuff. It's, it's, not, it's not expensive compared to some, but it works. It works well. Yeah. So, on the paint, straight lines. This has already been panel wiped with alcohol. Cover a whole door with this. Right, okay. So, yeah, so there's Start. hardly any. Um, there. There's literally nothing. It's starting to flash now, so get you. Yeah. First towel. Right. No pressure. I only say flash. I could see it went almost petrolly. Yeah, that's yeah, the one. That's yep. the thing. Yeah. Once it starts to flash. Yeah. That's. This is almost just. You can. You can remove it with one towel. Yes. But I like to just spread the product around a little bit. Yeah. Take your second towel, and this is to remove any residue that you've been chasing. Right. And one thing I've always done and learned from fellow detailer was to always buff further than you've applied. Right. Because okay. you can push it onto separate panels. Yes. And if you do that, obviously it's going to set and it's going to be a nightmare to get off. I'll get, yeah, right. So if you don't do it when it flashes, it, you, you've got to... You've got quite a window with this product. Right. Uh, they use products on market where if you don't wipe them off in 30 seconds, it can cause issues. Right. Um, there's a product on market that you need to be accredited by G Technique. That's called CS Black, uh, which is Crystal Serum Ultra. Uh, if you don't get that off in 30 seconds and you let it set, that'll then need sanding off. Sanding off. Sanding. Right. Wow. Wet sanding off. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, these products on market you've got to be careful with. This this pad's primed now, so yeah. One line. Right. Cap back on. Yeah. Top half of the door. And this is great for plastics. Ah, okay, so you can do plastics do with it. Do plastics with it, yeah. wheels with it. Yeah. What about all sorts. a lot of cars, including Boff, have got sort of that high gloss around window surrounds. Can yeah. you do that with it? You can do those, yeah. yeah. Absolutely yeah. fine. That's just taking a while. That's just about to go now. And then uh, it's removable towel. Yeah. 
you ever get confused as to which tail's which? I do when I'm polishing. I can do sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You tend to know which ones have done it because you just end up pushing the products around. Yeah. Spread that one out, second towel, straight in again. And best thing about this is now, if I leave and it rains, there's going to be no problems at yeah, all. Yeah, but looking at the sky, it's not looking so promising, despite the forecast. It will rain at some point and you will enjoy it, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> and that is that door coated. Well, well, so this goes to show that really the time is in the prep and the polishing yes. rather than the application yeah, of the... Yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong, some coatings, so if I was to be applying G-Technique Crystal Serum uh, Light, which I can buy and apply, yeah. uh, I would have to then leave that indoors for 12 hours right. um, for that to cure. Same with the uh, G-Technique EXO version 4, which I, beat, which I use as well, uh, that needs to be indoors for 12 hours yes. minimum before it gets wet. Uh, okay. The brilliance of this product is that I can do this outside, it can rain there's going to be no problems it's easy to maintain as well because mm -hmm. you know products like the thing we applied on boff uh, earlier on we can do that that's not a problem uh, and it'll just keep it topped up keep it protected yeah and obviously peace of mind you've now got a coating on there as well yeah. oh, it looks smashing I mean, the way you can even in the orange peel uh, light you can <laughs> the reflection it seems is... to, of the polishing I, I don't know if it's Obviously, orange peel needs wet sanding to get rid of it. Um, but the polishing's brought the gloss up. It's removed yeah. any imperfections in the paint from the dealership. Uh, bearing in mind, obviously, we spoke earlier, there weren't many. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just been a, it's been a pleasure, an absolute pleasure. Excellent. That's good stuff. So I look forward to, to showing Anne the finished product. Yeah, that'll uh, be interesting. I can't wait will. to see her face. Her face yeah. We need them clouds to bugger off. We do. And, um, have you done the inside yet? The inside is done it's and done, yeah. protected, so full hoover, full wipe rounds. So the seats are now wearing G Technique i1 smart fabric. Uh, the leather's had a clean. Yep. Uh, all it smells the, nice in here. It, it smells. It still smells brand new, which is nice. Yeah. Um, a really nice place to be. Pedals. Really nice place to be. Um, I still need to sort yeah. that middle pedal out. Because uh, yeah. um, I've noticed that when I open the door. <laughs> Always check your work, is what I say. Yeah, absolutely, because I certainly will. And I'm sure the other well, customers do. I'm sure they do. <laughs> so, Annie, here it is in all its shininess. It is very shiny. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? It is. Got all, oh, it's very girly pink. Yes, spangly girly pink. Yeah, very nice. That's how it should have been delivered. Yes. It wasn't that bad. To be really good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, am I? No, I wanted you in it. Oh, to sorry. See your car, you know. You've done all the inside. Oh no, I'm gonna make it dirty when I get in. Yeah, I don't. I don't move the thing. Wow, nice and clean. Yeah. Top, top. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of them door handles. You no. touch the paint when you shut the door, it's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Somebody that knows what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it, who also doesn't want to touch the door handle? Who doesn't want to touch the door again? Yeah. Yeah, and you've got all that polish. Most of the polished mark off the yeah, side there. Uh, come off quite nice as that. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the Zoe get uh, the KAVD new vehicle treatment and uh, polished to within an inch of its life and, and then given a semi ceramic coating uh, to help with uh, future paintwork protection. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe, um, don't forget to hit that bell icon, and if you would like to give it a thumbs up, that would be great too. Um, there is on the channel uh, another video where I talk to Carl of KAVD and he tells us a bit more about his business and the sort of vehicles he works on and, and things like that if you're interested in that too. Um, I'll, I'll put the link to his business and to this other video at the bottom of this. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in further Wolfie's Wheels videos.
Bye